Welcome back to Sports Carts from Scratch. This is Diru and Dad's voice. Hello. Um, this is my top six NFL by me now is for the start of the football season. Kickoff edition. Yes. So besides these top six uh, by me nows, which we'll get to in just a minute, um, you can't have a little bit of advice to share with people, a little investing advice from a 13 year old. So yes. what are your two pieces of advice? And uh, we'll show them a little. So the first bit of advice I have is invest in cards that you love. I mean, it's your cards. It's what you're selling. And if they don't end up being good cards, that just means you get cards that you like. like such, such as? Such as, in my case, Patches. This one has the laundry tag. How about, how about this one? This is one that you love. Oh, yeah. Wad patch. Wad patch. That is beautiful. And besides patches, what do you love that we invest in? I also love the metallic cards. The 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 metallic cards. This one isn't technically metallic, but it is a patch. And it's from tell them what it's part. elements. Uh, it they make some of my favorite cards. They're just beautiful. Also, and while this isn't brought to you by any particular uh, brand or anything. Um, we do particularly love the those cards. We do. So we're going to start off with your number six. I have now. one more bit of advice. Oh, give it. Invest in players that you believe in. Because if no one else believes in them and you do, that means their cards are cheap. And if you're right, you get you invested in those cards at a time that was good. And then you've gotten the money off of those cheap cards well and you really get to enjoy cheering for those guys yeah um like uh gardner Minshew, <laughs> whose tag you just had oh yeah thanks for getting me there this is live um yes. to us we're recording it live unedited and we're posting it it's just a few minutes before kickoff uh, NFL. So here are the seven players before um, or during today that you ought to invest six players that you should invest in according to Andrew. So, well, the, and they all have one thing in common. So why don't you just, why don't you just tell them uh, with, with one quick sentence, who are the, who are the buy me nows? Quarterbacks. Buy QBs. I mean, that's really, my advice except for i wish i could find this one here's one that you love that's really not a quarterback you should buy right now yeah oh i love it so much it's beautiful but uh being that he got cut uh maybe not <laughs> okay so uh, number six who is your number six quarterback buy me now zach wilson but he's actually in this case a buy me soon and who is zach wilson who does he play for he plays for the jets he is their rookie quarterback the reason he's a buy me soon is because he is a rookie people are excited you need to wait until he has a bad game buy him then and want and then you can sell him when he's doing good and there are a few things out right now that have him on them, but what's one of the problems with the rookie quarterbacks right now? They they don't have many cards. Mosaic doesn't have their cards. Select. They're not. They don't have enough cards to be accessible or even really popular enough. Yeah, a lot of them are getting uh, like – in their college uniform and stuff, but they really don't have, I mean, this is, this is one of the very few, show them again. Yes. This is one of the very few of him in his actual, unless you have certified or elite in his actual Jets uniform. I love this card. Yeah, you really do. <laughs> so, uh, okay. So okay. this is going to be an interesting one here. And some people, if you disagree with us, make a note in the comments here, but uh, who is your number five by me now quarterback? Love. Love what? Jordan Love. 
the reason I'm saying he's a buy me now is because he's going to take over next year as the quarterback for the Packers. We've got to work on that, Glare. We really do. Glare, Glare, semi fixed. So you think that you think that Rogers is out next year? You think that Love takes over? Yes. Okay, and he is much cheaper than he was. Oh this, yeah, this time last year. Oh yeah. All right, and so it's always good good to get quality cards cheap. Number five. All right, number four. four. Who is your number four quarterback? Buy me now for this year. Lawrence. Trevor Lawrence. Yes. The reason he's my number four is the same reason as my number six. He's a buy me soon. He's although if you can get this card, you gotta buy it now. Oh yeah. And, and you can get this card. It's beautiful. <laughs> can we get the glare? There you go. And what's that one called? Um, it is it's a graffiti. The, it is a graffiti, which I love. So buy me soon. So buy him when? Soon. Once he has a bad game, then you can sell him when he's doing great. His cards are having are going up. Or you can hold him till he tanks it. We're Titans fans around here, and so we have mixed feelings because we uh, have cards to do well. But, but not team, him. Not his team. Not his team. So, number three. Number three. And this is a little surprising because his cards are expensive. Herbert. It's His cards are cheaper because of the dip, but they are more expensive. They will be going up. And if you can get them pre-graded, that's even better you can get pre-graded um herbert that in the dip that's really good what's the, what's the dip that's the off season between um football seasons when the cards aren't doing as well because people don't care as much and these two is there a difference in the cost in these two yes this is his college versus professional and this one's numbered two this one is numbered two it is 31 out of 49 so whatever your budget yeah you should buy him well and if you i mean and and if you can't that's why that then you have number two to a tag of ialoa to a what tag of ialoa how do you know how to say that so well because I practiced saying it. And anything? Any, are we? Uh, we're not even Alabama fans, but we're no. forty-five minutes away from. Yeah. Now, sh- just show them that stack first. I have. We have a lot of. Like side, show it sideways. Like this. No, like like, like, like hey, that. Dad's hand made it in here again, oh. like that. Now we probably have five times that many too. Uh, but now show them a couple of the cards that you really like. I really like this one. I like this sideways patch. That's a RPA. What's an RPA, Andrew? Rookie and patch like, auto. Rookie patch auto. And then you'll love some of these. Oh, yeah. The only thing that the, that would make me love this card even more if it was die cut. Now, wh- now why to a, like... Yeah, there's a lot of I mean, he was considered being traded for Deshaun Watson. Like there's questions about whether or not they believe in him down there. Why, why Tua? Well, for the same reason as Herbert. In the dip, his cards are cheaper than they normally are. And then as he's doing good this season, they should be going up. The thing with all of these is they could get injured. You never know. Yeah, and, you know, one of, one of the – that kind of leads us into your number one. Who is your number one quarterback by me now? Number one, coming off of injury, Joe Burrow. 
Joe Burrow, and of course, they're both patches. We have a lot of Joe Burrow that PSA is holding hostage right now. Yeah. But but why Joe? I mean, Joe's coming off of injury, so why would you be buying Joe? Why would he be your number one by me now? Well, pretty much all of last season and the actual dip has been the dip for his cards. He's been injured. Um, People have not really cared about his cards because he was injured. But as he's doing good this season, his cards should be going up. And you're pretty sure. I mean, he only took three snaps in preseason. You have high, high hopes. High hopes. You have strong belief. Strong belief. Go, Joe. (laughs) Because you're a big Bengals fan, right? No, I'm really not. No, but you are a Joe Burrow fan, aren't you? I am. So, buy QBs. Buy quarterbacks. And remind them. Invest in cards you love and invest invest in players you believe in. That makes it way more fun. It does. It really does. Then you get to cheer for players that you wouldn't really cheer for otherwise. So, what would we like them to do for us? If y'all could do us a favor... Um, we'd, we'd really appreciate it, even if you share this with your friends. Oh, what are you doing? Also, you can buy these cards now. 425 Row on eBay. Now, what do you want them to do for us? What's your, what's your ask of our audience? Hit the thumbs up button. Hit the subscribe. Hit the bell. Hit those buttons, and that will really help. We're trying to get to 100 subscribers, and that would just be amazing and if with, we can. With expert advice like this, I mean, well, you should be at 100,000. Uh, that would take that at the rate we're going. It will. It will be. Well, maybe maybe it will go up. Maybe this is the dip for us. So like it, subscribe it. Um, thanks for being on with us. Uh, I'm over here to handle cards. Andrew's over there to be the beautiful face of all this. His hair's wet because he's been out in the Uh, blow-up pool swimming and acting a fool. Um, So this has been... Diru and Dad from Sports Cards from Scratch. Thanks for watching.